Hey, I'm Evan with Black Rifle Coffee, and today we're gonna make coffee. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open up a bag of Black Rifle Coffee. You're gonna to wanna to pour it in to your hand grinder. And the reason that we're pouring that into our hand grinder is today we're out in the middle of the mountains in Idaho. We had a little bit of French press and uh, I decided that really wasn't gonna get the job done. I actually it doesn't surprise me. The French really haven't done anything for us in like the last 200 years except for democracy. And that seems to be working out really well for us, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? The uh, Zassenhaus. We've got a couple different hand grinders, grinders that we recommend. The uh, Zassenhaus and then the uh, GSI. We've been uh, using both of them for the last, I don't know, month or two. What do you think, Edwin? Uh, pretty decent. Yeah, pretty decent. Pretty decent. What blend are you using? I'm using Beyond Black. Beyond Black's a darker roast. So we've got the 308 on the front of the bag, which means it's a little bit heavier. And it's a little bit darker than Just Black. Just Black's got a little SBR on it. So you can pretty much follow the rifles and say it's a little bit darker, uh, depending on one, the definition. Just black, beyond black, murdered out. Wow, Edwin, you got this thing set to a seriously fine grind. I'm gonna be here for like two weeks. We could do a time lapse and you guys could time me. So it's June right now, come back in July and I'll have this thing ground up for you. I'm done, just about done. Who else do we have out here? We got Black Baker over here with Killcliffe. I look over and off the camera, but Come around here, Baker. Show everybody your pretty face. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> what are we doing out here? We're fishing, doing manly things. We uh, came out here for a week. We're gonna do a series on just how to make coffee in the outdoors, how to make good coffee in the outdoors. So, we got some water over here. Now, of course, I'm never going to discourage somebody from taking a temperature and saying, hey, is this hot enough? Like, where should my temperature be? If you want to really geek out on this stuff, uh, you can say your temperature should be, I don't know, where I like to have mine is right above 200. Edwin likes his a little bit hotter. What are you at, 205? Yeah. What we just did was we ground our coffee, the Zassenhaus. Ooh, put a little bit more in there. We threw in the appropriate amount of coffee. Put hot water in on top of it. Got to wet the filter. So the reason that you want to wet your filter is because the, uh, the coffee is going to have to push through the paper. When the coffee pushes through the paper, it, it has to saturate the paper filter and then everything goes out. So it actually fills the paper filter with the coffee that you're actually wanting. You've got a couple different Black Rifle mugs. The reason I like these enamel mugs is they actually don't keep the coffee hot as long. At 200, uh, it's a little bit hot for my taste. So it cools off the coffee a little bit, a little bit faster. And it's not big enough that you're going to be sitting here drinking this for, a, you know, a half a day. Now, if you got a colder coffee, so like your standard drip coffees or your K cups, they're going to actually have a lower temperature. That's where you want a double wall because you got more coffee. It's a lower temperature, and you're going to be drinking a little bit longer. Hotter temperature, smaller cup, thinner wall. And then <clears throat> you're just rotating this down. Now, a lot of people use the AeroPress in different ways. Um, I don't encourage any of those ways except for this one. And you're not really gonna 
push really hard on this, you're just gonna create enough pressure that it's consistent and moves all the way through. If you push too hard, what it does is it starts to blow out the coffee uh, on the sides. So push, push. It's like having a baby, a coffee baby. Get through. Ah, there you go. Feel it release. Feel it full release. Then. Is it a full catch and release? It's a full release. Oh, that's a that's a that's a fantastic cup of coffee. You can cut it a little bit with some water. Not like that jerry can. That jerry can that jerry can water was actually poisonous. I think. I'm not sure. Mmm. So that's actually, that's, that's one of the finest cup of coffees that you can have in the wilderness. Besides if you were to bring out your espresso machine and generator and like plug it in and fire it up, which is completely unreasonable and illegal here. So uh, this is making coffee in the wilderness areas of Idaho. That would be get over here, hippie. None of us. <laughs> yeah, get over here, hippie. Let's see, let's see. Well, it's, it's hot, you gotta try it's, it. It's really warm, huh? <laughs> I think most hipsters would approve. Huh. See? Hippie approved. <laughs> is this going to make you love guns even more? I love guns. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs>